Guess what? Today we're going to go look for more stuff to do. Things to do. I should just do a video on things to do every day when you log in. Because apparently still people think you can just go in and spend nine minutes and once your resin's gone, you're done. Okay. Um, in 1.1, they added a rare Halo Cherry. And in the trailer, they showed off that he would throw Primo Gems. So a lot of us were like, oh, well, if you kill him, you can get Primo Gems. I didn't see him forever. Well, I now know all of his locations on where he spawns. And I can confirm that he spawns at least twice. I've been told that he spawns twice every 12 hours. We've been in stream, we've kind of debunked this, but I'll show you all the locations on where he spawns. And if it's been, it's been like 14 hours since we farmed him last night on stream. So if we see him again now, then there's probably some truth to him spawning every 12 hours. So technically on that note, you could get him four times every 24 hours. But you gotta remember though, like it's, it's a running, the clock is always moving. So it's be like 25 hours when it's all said and done. Cause you get the first guy, you gotta go find the second one. Then you gotta wait 12 hours from that last guy. Then <sighs> anyways, but in theory, in theory, 24 hours to get four. Now there's two reasons you want to do this. He doesn't give primo gems. Spoiler. <laughs> Ugh, he just hits you with them. It's silly. It's ridiculous. He gives you cabbage. Ooh, we don't use cabbage. I mean, maybe some cooks do, but we we don't. Um, there's an achievement. It's a beefy achievement too. Yeah. Well, that was strange. Defeat the unusual hillicurl twenty times. I've got him eleven times now, and you're gonna get ten primo gems. But then I noticed that they've got extra... This is going to be done three times. So if it stays the unusual hillicurl, you're going to be farming this guy for a long time to get this achievement done. Oh, it's an achievement. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, it is. But you get primo gems. Some people like this stuff. Some people don't. For those of you that are sweaty, I just realized last night that you get 18 adventure rank every time you kill this bitch. So there you go. There you go, you non-completionist sweaty tryhards. You want to increase your AR? Dude, dude, you're guaranteed two of these every day you log in. Yeah, there's the rumor that it spawns every 12 hours, but most people don't log in every 12 hours. You're two. You're guaranteed two. Two a day. And just in case we don't see him because he doesn't spawn every 12 hours, um, here's, here's, here's two clips from last night of me killing him, and you'll notice that you get plus 18 AR. All right, there we go. Let's start off. Boom. I should have screenshot my map and, and uploaded. I've got goodies everywhere. I'm in the process of marking side topic. All of the the daily, not the daily, but the random blue encounters. I don't know what they're called. And I can't find anywhere that shows them. So I've been marking them for the last month whenever I run into one. Um, and they seem to pop a lot. And I heard another rumor last night. I'll save that for another video. That you can only do it so many times. And um, there's another exploit glitch trick you can do to keep... Yeah. Anyways, another video. Let's... Uh, we're going to start up here in Storm Terrors right here. And so the best way that I've found to get to this one is you just go to the actual Storm Terror event. Jump out here into the cloud. And he is going to be located on this short one right here, midway down the platform. You'll see a sleeping guy. That's not him. He's over there sleeping. Uh, so we did not get a spawn of the Hillicurry. He's normally over here by the boxes. So next location. We spawn here. We run up over to this area. And here we are at the shrine. And he's usually somewhere around here. For the map. Right up here at the shrine. Okay. I really should use bees in my adventure group with Mona. Next location is right down here next to this, uh, the statue and the big ass tree. And he should be somewhere right around in this area. Not seeing him. He's usually laying down taking a nap. He's like a union employee. Don't have to work. Safe from everything. Yeah, I don't see him. Next location is going to be right down over here. And you literally just have to climb. Whoa. Turn around. This rock right over here. And he should be on the... On the ledge, looking down. No, I don't see him. Usually right here. Map reference. We're going to travel over here to the tip of Cape Oath. And I'm not seeing him up here either. Oh, wait. What is that? 
Hey, there he is. So he does spawn every 12 hours ish ish. I don't know the exact time, but he does spawn again within 24 hours. All right. All right. I was wrong. So you know what that means is tonight when I go live, I won't be able to find him because I'm going to kill him now. And we'll probably see the second one while I'm showing you the other locations, which means the 12 hours. I'd have to be live tonight at 4, 4 a.m., which I'm not going to be to get him again. Well, 5 a.m. when it's all said and done. Check it out. What's up, homie? No, do not fall off the cliff. You're going to go this way. We're just going to beat you with one character. No combos. Don't care. Bam. Plus 18 adventure rank. Oh, and cabbage. So again, map reference. Boom, right there at the tip. I don't need to zoom in. Next is over here next to the uh, the wolf boss. I know a lot of people run up the path. I'm tired of running up the path. I just usually come over here and jump across the, the creek. The creek. The, the, the ravine, the the, ca the canyon. Should have paid attention in school. Hey, give me that. Give me that. Oh, got a butterfly. I didn't get the thing. The thing, the thing. All right. We didn't see him here. Side note, all the previous locations we've looked, when you kill him and find him, he can go back to those locations. So when you're doing your loop... You got to remember where you were previously in your loop because you might have to go all the way back and check the old spots again. It's a pain. It's a pain. And some of them take a while to get to. Like there's one that I absolutely dread going to. Which is this one. There has to be another way to get up here, man. I can't stand it. All right down here at the stone gate. It's literally the top right there. And he does spawn there. We found him there last night. All right, we're going to jump all the way to the platform. We'll wait, get our stamina back. All right, here we are up top. Looking down into the gate. Here we go. Yeah, and this is where he spawns. App reference. Top of the top of the peak right here. Boom. Go over to the village. He's usually sleeping on one of the rock walls. I'm not seeing him, but I'm getting some meat. Getting some meat. No, how dare you run for me? Pow! Give me that. Yeah, he's usually asleep on this this rock wall right here. Right about here. Boop. Map reference, if you need a map reference for this area. <laughs> then let's go down this side. I have not seen him here yet. And I have two suspicions on where he's going to be. And I'll show you both. It doesn't take too long to check both spots. You fly up here, and you're going to fly down to this place. Hey, look, we have an event. Stand by. He's either going to be on top of this thing. Or around the side. So I always fly over the side. I look, I don't see him. And then the other place he could possibly be is down in here. So I always check down in here also. I should get two of these guys. And well, you're better than me. You can get two. I don't see him though. So next we're going to come down over here. We're just going to do a little bit of rock climbing. Going to be up to hop over there. And he's not up here. But for reference, overlooking... And app. Yeah. Next up is a quick look. We're just going to come down here to this spot. You literally just fly 10 feet. And if he's not there, you teleport somewhere else. Yep. Don't see him down here. Stop and give you a reference. Boom. There we go. We got the first little waterfalls here. The big lake. We got the ruins over. It's dark. You can't really see what the ruins are over there. Map reference. Next up, we'll just go ahead and hit this spot. Lizard. Yep, and he spawns right here on this bridge. So he's not here. We're going to teleport over to here. We're going to hit the, uh, the Quiju slope. He should spawn right in front of the door that goes into the temple you open up when you activate all of these pillars. 
I'm not seeing him, so he's probably not here. We'll check over here next to this Tasian mansion. I'm so anti-climbing, I run around and follow roads. <laughs> Should be up here. Nope. Last spot, I believe. We'll double check after I come here. Ooh, food for thought. I wonder if he... If you find him in Li Yu, if then he teleports over into Mondstadt or vice versa. That would narrow your search down. If you found him in Li Yu, you wouldn't have to finish the... Ooh, interesting. I'll keep an eye out for that. Alright, yeah, he usually spawns right here on this little... Little cinnamon roll looking disc plate right over here. He's not here. All right, reference again right below the teleporter on these little bricks. No, that wouldn't make sense, my theory, because we found him in Mondstadt. We found him, what, at the tip over here? So we started off with Storm Terror. Let's go back to Storm Terror. And he's at Storm Terror. Boom, right there. <laughs> okay, kill the theory about the different zones. That would have been handy, though. That would have narrowed down at least half the searching. Well... There's more locations in Liyu. So, don't you fall off. Oh, run away from me. Give me your cabbage. I'll call you the Cabbage Patch Kid. Death. 18 adventure rank. There you go. We're going to let that guy sleep. He doesn't. He slept through the whole thing. He's fine. He's already wet. He's already wet. Anyways, there you go. There you go. So they do spawn, in theory, every 12 hours per from kill, okay? It's not 12 hours on the dot, like there's not a reset time. When you kill one, the next one spawns. When you kill that one, the idea is, is that the next one will spawn in 12 hours from that kill. And then however long it takes you to get the next one, 12 hours from there. Right? Right? Makes sense? Now there is a small, there's a small, small smidget chance that they do reset at the uh, daily reset time. Um, from our explorations, that's not the case. I'll probably spend uh, the next couple streams after the reset running back around looking for them to see if they've respawned, just to verify that. If they do, I'll pin a comment on this video just so we know. Um, if they don't, I'll pin a comment also just to verify it. It should be, it should be from time of kill, the reset on these guys. Yeah, so, if you're ever needing to farm cabbage, I mean, Adventure Rank XP, there you go. There you go. At least two of them a day, unless you play all day, every day. But, you log in whenever you play, in the evening, the morning, whatever you do, you got your routine. Add this to your routine. Free a cabbage. <laughs> free, free AR cabbage. Anyways, speaking of streaming, I stream daily over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash slightgumby between the late night hours of 8pm till... 2 a.m. ish Pacific Standard Time. It's West Coast United States. You can follow me on Twitter at Sly Gummy for news updates and goofiness. We've got a Discord um, that's relatively active. We've got some goodies in there. I got to figure out how to organize it better because our feeds are getting too long to find any of the information. Anyways, links to everything down in the description. Links to other videos. I've got playlists on the screen for Genshin only, so you don't have to search through all the other content I've been doing over the years. There's also some really fun links down there in the description. You know, if you scroll down and click the see more button, it explodes. There's a lot of cool links. We've got, if you want to go, there's a wish simulator for Pete's sake. There's uh, interactive maps for Pete's sake. There's, there's uh, databases for Pete's sake. It's awesome. You should go check it out. Check everything out. Like me, love me, follow me. See you guys in chat. Bye now.